Hi, I'm Pavel Spechalski and today I will share a secret with you. Would you like to know how all the electronic devices are really working? Not with the physics, but really, really, really how all the electronics are working. They are working thanks to the magical smoke put inside of them. Because what happens with the electronic device when you release the magic smoke? It stops working. That's the proof that the magic smoke is the most important ingredient of any electronic device. Haha, <laughs> yes, you can laugh now. But let's go back to the business. Of course, we do not like to release the magic smoke because every time you release the magic smoke, something probably burned when you build something and you will have to replace the part. And replacing the parts on the drone on the airplane that you never really flown once is not rather not something that anybody is really interested in. Of course, there are devices like, for example, smoke stoppers when you have the bulb, uh, light bulb, for example, 24 volts car light bulb put in series between the power source, the LiPo battery and the drone when you connect the battery for the first time. It also kind of prevents you from cutting your fingers because the motors will not have enough current to start spinning uh, with enough force to make anything bad to your to your fingers. Um, but it has a problem that the current might be low but might be always there and if uh, exposed for a long time it still might burn something uh, because even one or two amps on where the long period of time can smoke a small electronic component and the approach number two which is smaller does not emit any light or the heat because it's a small polyfuse saver that when the current is too high and the temperature on the polyfuse is too high then just opens and does not allow the high current to go through your drone or airplane or anything else for too long time hoping that this will prevent this thing from burning. The problem is that the polyfuse devices are not the super fast and there is a reasonable delay between the moment when the current uh, is too high to be a danger and the polyfuse had time to react because the polyfuse had to actually heat up. And this uh, delay might be something that might well let's still burn your uh, electronics on your freshly and newly built drone. However, now we have something new. The thing I have over here is the Wi-Fi short saver and it is a device that combines both of the both words. It's fast, it limits the current, will probably save every single of your builds and it's a really really bloody bloody fast device let me change the camera and let me show you exactly how this thing is built how you are supposed to use it and well how it works before i will show you how the short saver works let me make a short presentation of what might happen when there is no uh, any current limiting no there is a current limiting because the plug is connected to my uh, bench PSU with the limit of only 2 amps. And what happens when there is a short circuit? Get ready? Yeah. You see? What a wonderful sparks can go when there is no any kind of the big current limiting. Oh, I will probably have to get new calipers right now. This is hot and this is this is burned. So nobody really wants uh, this thing to happen to his drone. So here comes the short saver. How the short saver works? It's a small board. It's a small board with the both XT60 and XT30 on one side. When you connect the LiPo, for example, this one, you see I connected. There is uh, one LED saying that okay i'm working i'm ready to to be used and to protect your electronics and the switch and thanks to the switch you decide of how much current can go through the through the circuit the only green light means it's uh, around one amp and when you flip the switch it goes up to up to two amps and then and then you just connect this side to whatever you want drone airplane or for example the servo tester I have over here you see it's working almost like in the normal condition but if I would connect too much of a load 
to the servo tester and try to use it the short saver would uh, well i will show you what it will do remember my experiment with a lot of sparks when i just hit the caliper into the into the plug um look what happens now with the short saver configured at one amp no blue light only green light ready nothing no sparks absolutely no sparks nothing is happening no current is going i can even put this wire over here but look here instead of the green light we have a red light red light means that the current spike was detected and um, electricity was cut off so like I said, it's almost like a polyfuse, but comparing to the polyfuse, it has one advantage. I made an experiment and I used my oscilloscope to measure how much time it takes for the short saver device to... Oh, by the way, if you want to use this thing again after it detected a short circuit, you have to unconnect and connect again and then it resets itself. So I tested how long it takes for this thing to cut uh, cut the power out and uh, with the help of the oscilloscope and making some short circuits on the on the on the way i discovered that it's around 2.6 milliseconds the manual says something about 2 to 3 milliseconds so yeah we have to assume that it's relatively pretty high and the chance that super high current for 2.6 milliseconds a super high current from the, the size of the LiPo will destroy all of your electronics is rather rather low. So I really do have to say that it's a it's a device worth your money because it's enough for this device to save your ESC or a flight controller or a motor once and you are golden you saved the price of the of the stuff you saved minus of course the 10 bucks for the device um however this is very uh, very important when this thing cuts off it's not really cutting off it's not disconnecting and leaves uh, plus hanging it only goes into the super high resistance uh, mode when uh, this series of resistors uh, just uh, it, there is super small voltage on the output but the voltage is not enough to power absolutely anything i think they did that to fight with the inductive load disconnected uh, that could get gen generate spikes i think this is this is behind the logic but still it works after it detects the spike it just virtually shuts down every electronic devices connected to either this plug or to this plug so yeah I like it. It maybe if this was not that ugly, because it's ugly. But besides that, super device for all of you who are not really 100% sure about their electronic skills. And even I burned a few ESCs and motor in my times last week. So if I had this, I would definitely save some money that's all for today i would like to thank all my patreons for their support that allows me to record those videos and share the knowledge and i hope my non-standard approach to life with all of you so thank you one more time i please consider becoming my patreon on the patreon the link is in the description it costs you only a few bucks a month and you can help me build better channel with better content on it. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye bye.